Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. We arrive at the name Alexa in quite a long winded way. Alexa is a shortening of the name Alexandra, which in turn is just the feminine form of Alexander. So to understand where Alexa came from, we have to understand how we got the name Alexander. This is actually a name of Greek origin and means defender of men. It arrived from the Greek term of Alexa, meaning to defend slash help, and Aeneir, meaning man. This name was initially a title given to the Greek hero of Paris, as he well did exactly that, defended men. From being his title, it became a popular first name. Perhaps the figure who launched the name into stardom, however, was a certain Macedonian king, one Alexander the Great. Thanks to his huge empire, military prowess, and tales of bravery, his name spread throughout Europe. Then, like with many traditional male names, it was adapted to become the traditional female name of Alexandra. And in the same way Alexander was shortened to just Alex, Alexandra was shortened to just Alexa. From here, Alexa became another pleasant run-of-the-mill name. For the longest time in history, Alexa really was just another name. Though for better or for worse, the name Alexa and how everyone perceives it would change dramatically in the year of 2014. Yep, in just seven short years, the name Alexa went from being just another name to deeply linked with one thing in particular. This is because in 2014, the online retailer slash behemoth of Amazon released the Amazon Echo. Smart speakers are a dime a dozen now, but back in 2014, there really wasn't anything quite like the Echo out there. Sure, smartphones are built-in voice assistants, but the Echo was planning on being a screenless device which could only be interacted with through voice. This was a huge undertaking for the people at Amazon and creating the Echo supposedly took years. An interesting article about the Echo's origins has quotes from those who worked on the original model. They explain how before the Echo, most AIs responded in 3 seconds, and through their overlord Jeff Bezos' demands, they cut that response time down to 1.5 seconds. They did this in a variety of ways, including something dubbed the Wizard of Oz test, in which someone playing a wizard would sit in another room and answer questions in the way in which they thought Echo would. When the Echo was ready for release, people were a bit confused at first. Like I said, there really wasn't anything like it. Amazon tried their best to explain how the Echo worked and wanted people to know it was more than just a music player. One of the ways in which they did this was for a really, really weird commercial slash short film thing. Does does anyone remember this? I think they talked about it a lot on Halo Internet at some point and just entered my brain again when I started writing this video. Man, it's, it's so, so weird. Though, despite the initial impression myself and many others had of the Amazon Echo, it seems to have worked as seven years later, the Amazon Echo and its various models have become a huge success. In early 2019, Amazon announced they had sold over 100 million different Echo devices. That's a huge number of devices. Since the device's inception, people have seemingly really got on board with something owned by a huge company listening on everything you do at home. Maybe I'm just being a bit too cynical. Without a doubt, however, one of the key ways in which Amazon made the Echo a success was with the name they gave the virtual assistant, aka the voice that you talk to and talks back to you. The voice obviously needed a name. It's hard to interact with a voice if you have not got anything to refer to it by. And of course, Amazon gave that disembodied voice a name. That name being the one we started this video with, Alexa. It's worth noting here that while many people simply refer to these machines as an Alexa, they are still called Echo devices. The machines are called Echoes and the voice is called Alexa. This means that Amazon can put Alexa into other devices other than just the Echo. A quick search on Amazon UK brings the latest version of the Echo itself as well as its smaller dot form. There's also a version of a screen plus a version you can install into your car. Amazon can even add Alexa to their tablets and TV players. You name it, Amazon have most likely crammed their little voice into it. Through these various devices and its immense popularity, it's easy to understand that the name Alexa has become heavily linked with the Amazon speaker. This may not have always been the case, however. Alexa was not actually the first name considered for the AI. Jeff Bezos, who'd rather use his billions to launch himself into space than help the world, by the way, suggested some other names, including Finch, Samantha, 
Friday and Amazon itself. Amazon is understandable, and Finch derives from a book Bezos enjoyed of the same name. Friday and Samantha have roots in fiction, with Friday coming from the name of Robinson Crusoe's personal assistant, and Samantha coming from the main character of Bewitched. Both of these characters perform tasks and chores, in the same way Amazon hoped the Echo would. It's worth noting, however, that another eccentric billionaire would go on to call their AI Friday, however. So, how did Amazon land on the name of Alexa? Well, it seems this name was chosen for two reasons. One of those reasons being for voice recognition, and the other being a geeky historical reference. The name Alexa features a hard consonant sound, thanks to the letter X in the middle of it. This hard sound makes it a name that's easier for a smart speaker to detect amongst various words being spoken. I imagine a name like Samantha, as it was suggested, might have been a bit more difficult to work with, as it's made up of multiple vowels and much softer consonants. It's a name that's much easier to mumble than Alexa, so you could easily not get picked up on by a machine on the other side of the room. The more geeky reasoning behind the name is that the team at Amazon wanted the name to be a reference to the Library of Alexandra. This ancient library was one of the largest depositories of books and information in the ancient world. If you had any question, the answer was most likely somewhere in the Library of Alexandra. This vast palace of knowledge felt like the perfect thing to name the AI after, as Amazon hoped that Alexa would be able to answer any question you may have. These are pretty valid reasons for naming the voice Alexa. However, there's a bit of an issue with all this. Before Amazon claimed the name for themselves, Alexa was already a popular name, traditionally linked with girls. In the same year Amazon Echoes first came out, about 4,250 baby girls were also named Alexa. By now, all those seven-year-old Alexas, as well as Alexas of all ages, are paying the price of having a name that is so deeply linked with Amazon's virtual assistant. Amazon, thanks to this naming choice, seemed to have ruined the name Alexa for an awful lot of people. Many people with the name Alexa, young and old, have talked about the issues they have faced since the rise of Amazon's virtual assistant. These issues have ranged from mild annoyance, to harsher bullying, to even some changing their name completely to break through of Amazon's association. One story comes from Jennifer Clark, an educator and mother whose daughter is called Alexa. Jennifer spoke on the matter saying, I happened to have Amazon open on my laptop and was shopping. She saw the name Alexa on my screen, to which her daughter Alexa responded saying, that's my name, I don't like it, they are always teasing me. They are always pretending I'm the Alexa machine. While saddened by this at first, Jennifer Clark thought this was just kids being kids and teasing her daughter. After diving more into this issue however, she realised it's a much bigger problem not only affecting children. Another mother and father who have a daughter named Alexa said they'd become slightly concerned after a visit to Santa in the local department store, which was a big thing for our daughter, and he spent the whole time laughing at her and asking if she always does just as she is told. That's a grown man pretending to be Santa laughing at a child. It can go beyond just teasing however. Many sources claim that as children have gotten older, the Alexa jokes have become sexualized, with young girls called Alexa being commanded to partake in various activities, in the guise of a joke. I won't share more of this here for YouTube demonetization reasons, but go check the links down below to see for yourself. One mother of a teenage Alexa had had enough of these jokes and got her daughter's name legally changed. The mother said she started to not want to introduce herself because of the jokes and the backlash. She was and still is a child, yet adults thought it was okay to make a joke out of her. It's devastating. The school was unhelpful and told her she needed to build resilience. She's in a much better place now. We've cut off friends and moved her to a new school to allow a fresh start. The injustice will never leave her, or us. Amazon must change the default wake word for its devices. There was clearly not enough ethical research into using Alexa. An adult Alexa living in Germany has spoken up about these issues too. She has said, if I do a presentation at work, as soon as I say my name, someone always makes a comment. I think it's ethically unacceptable that a brand could hijack a human name and totally change its meaning. My name is my identity. Names being hijacked like this isn't a particularly new thing. Sometimes a new work of fiction or song will come out that will include a specific name and that name will become heavily linked with that thing for some time. Just ask anyone called Delilah who was about in the mid 2000s. And thanks to a certain starfish, even my own name of Patrick has become heavily linked with one character in particular. And there's also a key 
you reason why you don't see many homers these days either. Amazon's Alexa is much worse than this, however. It doesn't really seem to be going anywhere like a faddy song, and Alexa has reached a point where the name is more than just a link to the AI. Lauren Johnson, who started the Alexa is a Human campaign, explained perfectly how Amazon have completely entrenched this name with servitude, saying, the whole thing is a step beyond normal teasing and bullying. It's identity erasure. The word Alexa has become synonymous with servant or slave. It gives people a license to treat people the name Alexa in a subservient manner. I could go on quoting Alexis and their parents explain how angry they are at Amazon for choosing this name, but then this video would be little more than a collection of quotes. I'm sure you can understand that for those named Alexa, the name has been well and truly ruined thanks to Amazon's naming choice, and unsurprisingly in recent years the name Alexa has plummeted in popularity. So surely Amazon would do something to combat this issue though, right? They wouldn't want to anger and upset the entire Alexa population, would they? Well, rather fittingly with their founder's recent trip to space, Amazon have decided to keep their head in the clouds for this issue. Amazon seems to have done very little in response to this issue. They have said that they are saddened to hear about these Alexas being bullied. They have also reminded people that they can select other wake up words including Echo, Pewter and just Amazon. And while that is all well and good, the entire line is still going to be called Alexa and none of their advertising of the products use any name other than Alexa. What Amazon could do however is simply drop the Alexa name. Other popular AI and smart speakers did not follow Amazon's route and chose non-human names. Google stuck with just Google and Samsung went with Bixby. Apple's Siri is a bit of a different story. Siri is actually a human name, it's a shortening of Sigrid used in places like Norway and Sweden. However, as a Scandi nickname it's pronounced differently. So while there have been instances of people being teased for being called Siri, they are nowhere near as commonplace as people being bullied for being called Alexa. Siri tangent aside, if Amazon won't do anything to resolve this issue they have created, then perhaps it's up to us to make a change. As mentioned, Lauren Johnson started the Alexa is a Human campaign to try and get the name changed. On their website, they have a list of things we can do which includes changing the wake name and not referring to the device as Alexa as a whole. I know there's an awful lot of awful things going on in the world right now, so people being bullied because of their name might seem like a trivial issue, but it's apparent that there are so many people out there who thanks to Amazon, have had their names and identities taken away from them. I don't think this silly little YouTube channel will ever make much of a difference in the world, but if there's any difference we can make, it really should relate to names. So, let's all try and destroy the stranglehold that Amazon have on the name Alexa. Apologies if this video woke up your echo a lot. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and it gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and also join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.